doing art in New York City, a lot of times you, you share these moments where you spend all this time on a piece and your art is very detailed and and how long will it take you to do a piece like out out and about like on you know on some scaffolding or um because i mean those just yeah i'm like oh you spent some time actually you know my whole goal is to do it as quick as possible I, okay. it, it, so Cause you I almost kinda, have to right so you don't I get do caught <laughs> Well, yeah, when I do, when I'm doing illegal stuff, <laughs> that's a whole different thing, but I do two different kinds of styles. You know, I do this kind of, uh, freestyle line drawing thing, which is very much just, uh, improv. Like it's, it's like, you know, um, and I do that for myself and I do that. I'm hired by, by, by clients and brands to do that. So, so depending on what it's about, the, the content is geared towards those brands or whatever, but I, it's a freestyle. Like I, so it takes me, you know, I can do a 50 foot wall in, in seven hours or something, you know, like a 10 foot high wall by 50 feet long. I can do that in 10 hours or something like that. Sometimes I can do it much quicker if I'm using a thicker marker. Um, and I don't have to like, maybe if I have, you know, if I'm just doing it for myself and I have less kind of like brand guidelines I need to follow or something. So those go very quick, you know, I, I and the whole point of that is that, you know, so I don't have a lot of patience as I'm a big believer in like our behaviors drive the things we create, you know what I mean? Like I'm a person who's inherently kind of impatient. Uh, I like to just create things really fast. And so, um, that's kind of like geared why I started doing these things quickly and it becomes almost a performance in that sense. You know, and because I don't want to labor over it. I want to be done in a day. I don't want to come back tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's a weird kind of a thing. Uh, and that, so that drives the style that informs the style. That's how, so when you keep doing something or whatever, it kind of like informs it and then it becomes its own, it, 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 it takes on its own life force through that. So, so I do that. And then I also do this whole like big chunky letter wonky letters you know that i write these statements and they're like these big letters that are all now that's a whole different process that takes much longer because generally i have to do that as a sketch first and then i project it on the wall and i have helpers and make sure we trace it with chalk and tape it and paint it in where do you hand. sketch that uh, what, i app? do that uh no i do that by hand sometimes okay. i do it by hand i some i do you know i have procreate on my ipad and i play with that and i do things on that but a lot of times, you know, if I'm doing a, a large scale mural with, with the things I write in my, my words, I do that by hand with like a big piece of paper, tracing paper, in proportion to size, scan it in. Then I alter it digitally, whether it's Photoshop or Illustrator, and then we project it and I have helpers. So that's a, that's a much oh, cool. different process that can take longer, that yeah. takes a lot longer than the freestyle thing. What do you use to scan it in? Do you use one of those Adobe iPhone apps? No, I'm bad. I just take a picture and then picture? I bring it yeah. in and like, you know, pump Ray, up the levels. Trace and it and it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And okay. it's, all, it's always a different process depending on what it's for. If it's something that I'm just, if it's just a piece of art that I'm going to project on a wall and trace, I don't really care. Like, I don't care how like high res it is or anything because it doesn't matter. I'm just trace. But I get hired off by brands to do these things, you know, whether they're on clothing or a bag or, you know, or even if something that like these billboards I did in LA, those, they printed those. So, so I have to be uh, more precious about the process and I have to make sure I've like converted to vector and so it can blow up at any size and stuff like that. So, so it's a little bit different. So it's always, it's always different depending on what the project yeah. is. So when you do yeah. art out and about that isn't for brands and you're proud of it, you take a pic, you leave, and then the next day someone's painting over it. Is, <laughs> is there just like yeah. the ultimate feeling of disappointment or by now have you kind of been like, okay, I guess it's the part of, part of doing that. Yeah, it's part of doing it. Um, I think that if it could go like a week, when it's the next <laughs> That's day, what you're aiming for. I'm a little bit like, I'm a little heartbroken when it's been like 24 hours depending on what I did, but there's something kind of beautiful about this fleeting kind of ephemeral moment, you know? Uh, you know, and sometimes I'm like, I get it. Like if I'm writing a big statement that's like, you know, um, go tell a racist that they're fucking racist <laughs> on the side of Louis Vuitton and it's painted over in day, I get it. Like, I like you, had, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but sometimes I do something like, I feel like I'm contributing to you know, if there's a big, long, ugly, green construction thing that wraps a corner of a street and I put 
drawings all over it. I feel like I'm contributing to the landscape of the neighborhood in a way. People, like, it's so fun doing these at early in the morning. I get up at like 4.30 or 5 in the morning and I go out and I do them. I usually have like my assistant John or something with me. And people, you know, it's like those old, the old school, like New Yorkers, like, like walking their dog, getting coffee at six in the morning. And they thank me, you know, they thank me for putting art in the neighborhood. This one woman, this old lady gave me $20 once. She was like, take this. You, she thought she must have like some struggling artist. She's like, you thank you so much for contributing. And I, I was like, I don't want it. I don't need it. Please keep it. And she was like, you better take it. I was like, all right, all right, I'll take the money. And there was a, you know, these special kind of New York moments. That- I love that. I love that. Are you a morning person then? Has, has that adjusted your, your schedule permanently? No, because I don't do them like, you know, it, I go through streaks where yeah. I might not do it for like a month or two. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to adjust. I'm such a night owl. And then everyone yeah. around me works. Well, they're normal humans. So yeah. <laughs> I, I'm struggling right now. I'm trying to ask people, OK, how do you wake up before 10? I need help. Mm. Well, what time do you go to bed? <laughs> like two ish, three. Yeah. So I, I, I should start there, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it depends with me. I'm generally kind of a morning person, not too early, but if I, it depends what's going on. You know, if I, if I have like something I'm really excited about, I'm working on or there's something that's pressing and there's deadlines, I might want to work late and wake up later. Like sometimes I want to get it done, but then I'm also like this person that loves to like, like even this morning I'm doing something. So I woke up at like seven this morning, which is, I usually try to wake up at eight. Yeah. Today I was just kind of like I popped up and I was ready and I got some coffee and there was something. That, that's like good nice. that you can do that. <laughs> Put on a podcast. And just yeah. Like, I'm like, just yeah. ease into the day. That's and that's what I'm like, going by for. By nine o'clock, you feel like you're so accomplished by like nine a.m. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what's you're good, like, New York? I'm ready nah, for I'm, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. I'm I'm working on it.